Jesus warned his disciples about the hypocrisy of the Pharisees and assured them that all hidden things will be revealed. He advised them to fear God, who controls eternal judgment, not just those who can harm the body. Jesus assured them of their value to God and promised that acknowledging Him publicly will lead to being acknowledged by Him in heaven. He also said that speaking against Him can be forgiven, but blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is unforgivable. Finally, he told them not to worry about defending themselves in trials because the Holy Spirit will guide them. This is Jim. Jim is a farmer. One year he is able to harvest many of his crops. He is thinking about what he will do with all of his corn. Hmm. So, he decides to build an extra shed to store all of his corn. He is happy because now he has so much corn that he can lay back, relax, and live off of it for a long time. Satisfied with the good plans he made, he goes to bed for the day. But during the night, he dies and can't enjoy any of his wealth. Jesus told this story to show his listeners that making wealth here on earth is meaningless. Once we die, we can't take anything with us. Do not worry about what you need to live. Look at the birds. Do they worry about how to survive? God takes care of them every day. Do you really think that just because you worry, you are able to make your life even one day longer? I mean, look at the flowers. They don't even care about how they look, and yet they are still beautiful. If God takes care of the flowers, flowers that will be cut down tomorrow, how much more will he take care of you? People who don't know God spend all of their time worrying about these things. <laughs> but God knows you and will give you everything that you need. Jesus taught that people should always be prepared and vigilant, like servants waiting for their master's return. Those who are ready will be rewarded, while those who are not will face consequences. He compared being unprepared to a house being broken into and emphasized that the Son of Man will come unexpectedly. He also spoke about the responsibilities of a faithful manager and the severe consequences for those who neglect their duties or act wickedly. Those given more responsibility will be held to higher standards. I came to throw a fire upon the earth. How I wish it would already be burning. Do not think that I came to bring peace. No. There will be division because of me. Families will disagree, and siblings will fight each other. The people who are following me will encounter a lot of difficulty and opposition. Do not be confused or disappointed if such things happen because you follow me. Jesus criticized the crowd for being able to predict the weather but not recognizing the significance of the present time. He urged them to make peace with their adversaries before legal matters escalate, as they might face serious consequences if they don't. 